This is Phoenix. She's a 14-year-old uh, quarter horse Mustang Rocky Mountain mare. Uh, so she, yeah, she's kind of just a mutt. Um, she is a city buckskin, um, and uh, she's for sale. She was born on uh, my property, and I've raised her. I had her her whole life. Um, so, you know, uh, I know her whole history. She's very healthy, totally sound, no vices. Um, she's fairly green under saddle, but she's been raised around people her whole life and is super, super confident, super trusting, super willing, very, very calm. She's been on a, tra a couple trail rides before. Um, we went on a trail ride during Labor Day and nothing nothing bothered her at all she was very confident with all the trailers dogs um crosses water goes over logs um i'm riding her in a dressage saddle but you can ride her in western saddle um she is being ridden in a rope halter here um and she uh has had a bit in her mouth but isn't fully schooled in riding with a bit um, but you could continue that no problem. She has an amazing whoa. She will just stop super, super easily. She stands perfectly to mount. I mean, she doesn't move uh, until you ask her to walk off. Same thing with stopping and standing. She's phenomenal. She just stops, stands there, waits for you to ask her to go forward. Um, uh, again, very, very confident Mary, very calm, not spooky, not bucky, doesn't rear. Um, she is green though, just needs more time under saddle, but doesn't, uh, have any issues. She's a little, she's pretty quick to stop, which is often a good thing. We are working on getting more cadence and rhythm in the trot and more balance in the canter. We started doing, uh, lateral work as well, and I'm just kind of showing you how she moves. Um... Uh, uh, again, she's very, very calm. She is fantastic for the farrier. She's great for the vet. She loads right on a trailer. She stands tied. Um, she can canter on both leads, though she's not fully schooled on, you know, uh, what each lead means. But she'll take either lead. Um, you can put her in a stall. You can put her, ride her in an arena. Again, ride on the trail. She'd be ideal. Uh, you know, she's a little bit green, but she's... She would be perfect uh, to go in group trail rides because um, she's willing just to kind of do what the other horses are doing. She also uh, can be ridden out alone. You can take her out alone. The other horses can be hollering at her and she is fine. She's good around dogs and cars and tractors. Um, she'll walk right over a tarp. <laughs> you can put a tarp on her. You know, no problems there with any of those things. Just a little bit more trotting here. Uh, the footing's a little bit slippery, so you may see that a little bit, but again, she's totally sound, no vices. We're working on a lot on softness. Her woe is phenomenal. She's very sure-footed and careful where she steps. And again, she has a fantastic stop and backup. walk her over here, ask her to canter. She's still learning how to canter and turn, um, but um, she's doing very, very well. The other, her buddies are right there, but I've taken her, you can ride her in the arena, ride her away from the other horses and she's good. Still working on getting a nicer canter transition. Here's the right lead. <laughs> here I'm trying to turn to the right and she's, not quite. She's turning toward the gate, but not too bad. So there I slow down and start again. Again, she's very uh, excellent, excellent breaks. There we go. There's the right lead again. She's fairly good about picking up the correct leads. Going past her buddy there. And her canter just gets better and better when every time I work it. There we go. There's the right lead. <laughs> she goes over the little hill here. Switches leads. 
and it's the beautiful stop there. She kind of tucks her butt under really nicely when she stops. Skipping it. Here's the left lead canter, um, which you went into very nicely here. And right around the corner, I'll come around the corner here, and you'll see that I ask her to stop. I don't have to pull my reins hard. Trot, trot, trot. Say whoa with the loose rein, and she stops very nicely. And here we'll take the right lead again, so you can see pretty easy for her to go into either lead the canter. Um, no bucking, no running. Um, and we got a little bit of a turn there. And watch the stop here on a loose rein. That's good. I'm going to show you that in slow motion just so you can see that she does stop really nice. Turning on a loose rein. Just asking a little bit for that turn. You'll watch my reins go loose. And I'll cue for the stop right here. I'll sit back, say whoa. And you can see her tuck her butt underneath right there and stop beautifully on a loose rein. Here's some of the boring stuff. Um, here's just mounting. She'll walk right up to a mounting block and stand next to it. She doesn't swing her hind end away. And I'm just doing this so you can see I'm doing all this adjusting, adjusting the stirrups, tightening the girth, so you can see she does stand very, very well. Um, and she just waits there until you ask her to walk off. She's very good about that. I do give her a little treat. I give all my horses treats if they stand nicely for mounting. And then she just calmly walks off. She's great about just walking off. She's not in a rush. You can see, very used to dogs running around. She, again, has an excellent stop and back up, which is getting better and better every time I ride her. Showing you that she's calm, she's not rushing off. This is, this is with no groundwork, just saddling her up and walking off. Here we're going to go up over the hill, no problems. She doesn't rush. She's actually very careful where she puts her feet. As you can see from this next obstacle, she'll do it slowly rather than rush or, you know, go over it and she'll walk over logs very calmly, very quietly. This is a step up obstacle here. You see she steps up and then she pauses and then she steps up and she's pretty quick to go all the way up, but then she'll stop. I'll give her a little treat, but she's very comfortable just pausing. And here in just a sec, you're gonna see when she um, steps down and she does it very, very carefully. Let her finish chewing, and then she goes to step down. She's careful, and then she pauses even, right there. There's a little step, and she's still careful about stepping down. Good, and then she walks right through um, this right here. No problems. Uh, sideways horse feeder.